arms. The very first miracle of Jesus in the Holy Bible. You find that in, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 2. That Jesus and his disciples and his mother were invited at the marriage feast at Cana. Cana is the name of the place. Marriage feast at Cana. The very first miracle of Jesus, according to the Holy Bible. He is invited at the marriage feast at Cana. And the people run short of wine. So his mother comes to him. John, John, chapter 2, I'm reading to you. His mother comes to him as a son. Look, these people have run short of wine. We now, I know in the back of our minds, I know you've got mysterious powers, you know. You can help them solve the problem. This is the plea made by his mother. And Jesus responds. He says, woman, woman, what have I to do with thee? Woman, what have I to do with thee? My time is not yet. Now, if you don't want to do a job, man, there's a nicer way of telling your mother, I says, Ma, look, I'm tired, <laughs> leave me out. You don't have to address your mother as woman. That's the word is used for a prostitute. No, no, this same book now, the word woman he uses for a prostitute. That woman caught, caught in the act of adultery. In the Bible, you read John chapter 8. The woman. So the Jews bring this woman to Jesus. They said, Master, we caught this woman in the act. What must we do to her? Actually, they're trying to trap him. They're not looking for an answer. If he says, let her go, man. They said, this man is not a man of God. Look, the book of Leviticus. In our Torah, it tells us that the adulterer and the adulteress must be stoned to death. Is he a Messiah? Can he be the man of God? He says, let her go. He's rejected. If he says, stone her, they'll kill her. And adultery was not a capital crime in the Roman Empire. So the cashier said, why did you kill this woman? He said, our Messiah says so. So he's between the devil and the deep. He's in conflict with the government. The laws of the state. Either way he loses. Heads I win, tails you lose. So what does he do? He's also a Jew. Look, these are Jews, are geniuses. I'm telling you. No, no, they are our cousins. You know, they always beat us. You know that. They always have got one on us. You know, you go into an agreement hmm, that, you know, we resolution with the 342 or 424. Four, four. Mm -hmm. This is now, they're going to uh, let go the the occupied territories for peace. Occupied territories. So now, they said, right, we move this to, for you to implement your, your part of it. He said, no, you haven't given up the occupied territory. So, no, we didn't say the occupied territory. In the resolution, they said occupied territory. So this piece here is, a, is it not occupied territory? So, yes. Is the means the whole thing that was concerned in 1967. No, no, no. We didn't talk about that. We said occupied territory. We didn't say the occupied territory. And we lost. We lose. I'm telling you. No, they beat us. They beat us. Our cousins, Allah has gifted them. See, we have to learn now something from them to counteract their machinations. Says, if you know the language of a people, you can avoid their vices and their machinations. We don't. We are not equipped. To really to give battle, an intellectual battle to the Jew, we are not equipped yet. However, that's besides the point. So, what they say? I've drifted it off. Look, by the way, on Friday we had this meeting here. Our chairman was saying that the tonight's meeting, four to six weeks' time, they'll get the videotape. You said something like that for tonight's meeting. This meeting on Friday, four days' time. Tapes are available outside. Four days. They're here. Pick them up. Pick them up. They're outside. I think there's a price for you to pay. Get them. Of the Friday's meeting. Um, Easter, the Muslim viewpoint. What makes Good Friday good? You remember the talk. The tape is available outside. 
So, our, we say, the first miracle of Jesus was to turn water into, ah, that woman, that woman. What is Jesus to do? So he says, let him who is free from sin cast the first stone. Those who are sinless among you, let them start stoning. And so saying, he started, he sat in, on the ground and started scribbling in the sand. No, no, I'm reading the Bible to you. He started scribbling in the sand. It was a doodling, doodling in the sand. So I'm asking the Christians, what was he doodling? Nobody knows. I'm telling you, in my life, I haven't come across a Christian who can tell me what this Jesus was doodling. I'm telling you, you ask any Christian, what was he doodling? Nobody knows. As I tell you, my theory, I may be wrong. I says he was doodling the names of the people who were watching over his shoulder. It's human nature. We are inquisitive. When somebody is writing, we want to know what he's writing. So, these accusers of that woman, they're watching what he's writing. He's writing combination of names. This guy, watching over his shoulder, his John, he has something to do with a woman called Elizabeth, has been committing adultery. So he writes John and Elizabeth. The guy said, this guy knows about me. Shh, out he goes. He knows about me. Next guy is Matthew. So Matthew and Mary. Say, he knows about me. This bloody rubbish, he knows about me too. Shh, out he goes. He who's looking over his shoulder through prophetic, prophetic knowledge, he's able to put down those combinations. You, whoever you are. You are, a, you are Smith, I said the Smith fellow has something to do with Rosetta or whatever. <laughs> everybody is hitting everybody for a sixer. That doodling. He's, with that doodling, he's hitting them for a sixer. You know, like Don Bradman, you had one here, MCC. You remember? Oh no, that was in Melbourne. I'll just tell you something amusing about. Don Bradman. I was young. I was a schoolboy. I used to read in the newspapers. It's MCC versus England. They're having it out in England. MCC, MCC. Say MCC, Muslim Cricket Club. <laughs> no, no, by God, look, I, I'm not trying to be clever. I'm telling you, I didn't know Melbourne. I didn't know this. Australia and all that I knew nothing about. As a schoolboy, I'm reading Don Bradman, MCC, MCC. I said, I, I favor them. I'm sorry. I want them to win. You know why? It's a Muslim cricket club. <laughs> so, he hit everybody for a sixer, like Don Bradman. Now he looks up and he's asking the woman, he says, woman, where are thine accusers? The guys who are accusing me of adultery, where are they? He says, no sir, they are no more, they are gone. So he said, go, sin no more. Because those guys were out to catch him out. Jesus is telling you all are adulterers. You all deserve to be stoned to death. And you are convicting this woman. And if this woman was guilty, you caught her in the act. Where was the man? Where was the man? You sexist, where was man? You caught her in the act, where? What was the woman doing? What was the man doing? Where is that man? No, no, no. It's only the woman you are after. You are sexist. You go for it. Just because they are poor women, you want to victimize her. So I says, now this is how, this is how, the miracle. So, Jesus Christ, he tells his mother, she, what have I got to do with thee? He calls, woman, Woman, why, where are thine accusers? Same word he uses for his mother. Woman, I can't believe it. The title you use for a prostitute, you use that same title for your mother. In your language, you Jews, I say, haven't you got a word called mother? Um, in Arabic, same thing in Hebrew. In English, it says mother. In Gujarati, it says ma. In Urdu, it says ma. Or it says amma. Shit. Man in every language, in the African says mama, says man every language has got a respectful way of addressing your mother.